How do you find the Taiwanese resistance for this circuit? Let's have a look. Okay, so to find Taiwanese resistance, what you need to do is you need to remove all your sources. So for voltage sources, we replace them with a short circuit. So let me redraw the circuit first. So this 5 volts will be replaced with a short circuit here. So you have a R2 here, and this is your node, and then you have a R4, and then you have another short circuit here, and then you have your node 1, and then you have your R1. Okay, so this is basically your redrawing with the sources removed. Now the next step, all right, that I have mentioned before in class is to replace. So the load is this R5. So now that you remove the load, imagine that there is a power supply in its place. All right. So if I were to draw an imaginary power supply here, and what we need to do is now examine how the current will flow. Okay, so first step is you can see that this point here and this point is actually a short circuit. That is actually a short circuit. That means I can actually redraw this in one more way where I can make this line. I can bring it all the way to this point over here. Alright, so I'm going to draw this point here, R4 and then R2, alright, followed by R1. Okay, and over here is where you have your imaginary power supply here. So you can see that uh, in this case, when the current comes out of this uh, imaginary power supply, it will come to this node here and it will split into all three uh, resistors here. Which means that the equivalent terminal resistance is R1 parallel to R2 parallel to R4. So in our case, it is 1 parallel to 2, parallel to 4, and that will give you a resistance of 0 0.4 ohms. Okay, so that is how you approach this question to find the Taminin's resistance. Thank you.